Hello, I'm Wade, your knowledge host. As environmental catastrophes seem more and more imminent, the debate on how humans will achieve sustainability has become more and more pressing. People usually fall into one of two camps. The first says that only government regulation can tackle such monumental systemic issues, while the second states that the incremental collective lifestyle changes are the key to making a meaningful long-term impact. Everyone would agree that no one person can transform the world. Therefore, many inspiring activists, entrepreneurs, and educators say that saving the planet means reframing the pursuit of happiness itself, namely moving from competition and consumption to community and creativity. After spending his youth engaged in politics, social entrepreneur Luo Wenjia later found out that education has been much more effective in getting people to care about environmental issues. Through his three business ventures, which includes an organic rice farm, an independent bookstore, and an eco-conscious bed and breakfast, Luo introduced sustainable lifestyle to busy urbanites. These businesses show people the true pleasures of working the land, spending time with your family, and doing the things you love. 那观念要改变这个社会，这个集体的改变。The idea is to change the entire society, which requires collective change. However, collective change cannot be achieved through slogans alone. I believe that we need to start from ourselves as individuals. Therefore, even though I am not involved in politics, I also hope to try to implement some of the values I believe in through my own small self-practice in the space of my own life. As a teacher. Nanto County Mayor candidate Frida Tsai regularly brings her students to tea farms. The experience of processing tea gives her students a deep sense of gratitude for the food we eat. Tsai hopes to integrate these lessons into Taiwanese education in a more systemic fashion to make Taiwan more food self-sufficient. Ultimately, Tsai wants to create communities that celebrate the process of growing food, which would prove to people that working the land is just as glamorous as living in the city. 非常多的年轻人，包含我们，都忽略了食物的来源。Many young people, including ourselves, have overlooked the source and journey of our food. Therefore, we should incorporate the knowledge of food sources and the journey of food into natural or social science classes, as well as biology classes, so that they can understand and systematically alleviate food waste. For the past eight years, Stepped Thirty founder Yang Youren. Has been running a company that donates shoes to disadvantaged groups in Africa. Young knows that most people won't dedicate their lives to helping other people. Despite this, Young thinks everyone still has the potential to make the world a better place, mainly by doing little things such as being nice to your loved ones and staying honest at work. If you know my background, you will know that I only graduated from high school. I have no education. If people knew my background, They might know that I only graduated from junior high school. I may not have much education or funding. When I founded the association, my salary was around 22k, jumping around in the range of 22 to 26k. So I didn't have any funding, background, or any of those things. However, during this process, many people participated and achieved even more. I often remind myself that the people used by God are not necessarily the most perfect, but the most willing. As a medical professional, Presidential Culture Award winner Chen Rongji has seen overconsumption nearly break Taiwan's national healthcare system. To combat overprescribing and overtreatment, Chen advocates his simple lifestyle of BMW, which stands for bus or bikes, metro, and walking. According to Chen, walking an additional 15 minutes a day lower your cancer mortality rate by 14%. Such a simple action means that fewer people end up in the hospital. Reducing the burden on overworked doctors and freeing up much-needed medical resources to others in need. So, so when the number of patients in the medical center's outpatient department suddenly becomes 5,000 or 8,000, it becomes chaotic. Therefore, we need to reduce this waste and bring it back to the law. Advocates such as Chen show that for sustainability to be sustainable, we must transform the way we think about what it means to live a rich and fulfilling life. In the process, we will end up connecting with the land, spending more time with loved ones, and engaging in meaningful work. 
sounds much better than the never-ending rat race of consumption that is destroying our planet.